Today we're solving the seventh challenge on Ethan Hawke called Force. Let's take a look at what we're supposed to do in this contract. Scroll down. The goal of this double is to make the balance of this contract greater than zero. Let's scroll down and take a look at the contract. So this is the contract. I'll copy this over to Remix and also deploy this challenge by clicking on Get New Instance and then confirming the transaction. While we wait for the contract to be deployed on Testnet, I've copied over the contract from Ethernet over to Remix. And as a reminder, our goal of this challenge is to make the balance of this contract greater than zero. Notice that this is an empty contract. And for us to usually send some Ether into this contract, it needs either a payable fallback or a payable receive function or another function that is payable. But notice here that this contract has nothing. It is an empty contract. So how can we send some ETH into this contract? Well, there is one way we can send Ether into this contract, and that is by using self-destruct. By using self-destruct, we delete the contract, and whatever ETH that is inside that contract, it will force send it to another contract. So I'll name this contract hack, and then when we deploy this contract, we'll execute self-destruct. So constructor, and then address of the target. And the target will be the force contract over here. So when we deploy this hack contract, we'll call self-destruct with the address of the target. And I'll make this address of the target payable. And the last thing is when we deploy this contract, we'll want to send some ETH. So I'll make this payable. We send some ETH into this contract, into this hack contract. And then immediately we call self-destruct. So this will first send some ETH into this contract. And then we'll force send ETH into the target contract, which will be the force contract. And this will make the balance of the contract greater than zero. Control S to compile the contract. Back inside Ethernet, I'll get the address of the contract by hitting F12. Copying the address of the instance. Back inside Remix, I'll click on the deployment tab. Switch over to testnet. And then... We'll deploy the hack contract. So hack and then paste the address of the force contract. To deploy, we'll send, let's send one way. So put a one here and then click on deploy. Confirm the transaction. Okay, you can see here that the transaction was successful. So this means that we were able to deploy the hack contract and immediately delete this contract for sending ETH to the force contract. Inside Etherscan, this is the address of the force contract. And you can see here that the balance of this contract is one way. So this means that we were successfully able to send some ETH into this contract. Okay, so the last step is to submit this instance. Click on submit instance. And if you win the challenge, then you'll see the button change to go to the next level.